Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love is unconditional. And love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason with no justifications. You are free to be who you are and allow others to be what they are. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 262, NASDAQ off 184, S&P's down 43. Gold, gold contract down $2.90 straight at 1945 an ounce. You got silver down 17 cents, $24.54 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $79.09 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 10 ticks, trading 109.19. The 30-year down 13 Ticks at 119.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 570 ticks, trading at 103.988. Euro is out here at 108. Yen is trading at 145, and the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, if we take a look at this, Talk about nice volatile markets. We have those, that's for sure. And we're going to have Powell speaking in Jackson Hole tomorrow, quarter past 10 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So if we take a look at the SPY here, you get 58 million shares traded. We went from 445 to 438. And, you know, this is coming into too high volume. Bar is down, and it's not enough volume. So my take is that this thing's still going to bounce. You know, you're coming into 98 million and 95 million. You know, haven't have held, held price. Now, the top of the 98 million is 437.52. We've hit 438.52. Let's go take a look at the futures. So we take a look at the futures. It's been a one-way market downtown all, the, all day long. We pulled this out, and what you're going to see... You still have that vibe, so there's a, there's, there, there is a high volume low at that 4401. That's going to get tested again. We'll see if it gets tested in the next few minutes. Um, you know, that's, that's how high volume lows go, high volume highs go. That's in the SPY. We go to the Qs. The Qs are a little bit different now because what you do have with the Qs is that you're coming into 60 million, and we're going to do 60 million, you know. But I've seen this set up many times, meaning, meaning that you do a small bounce, you start high, you get low, you're coming into volume. You know, we'll see how this shakes out. It, it, the, we're coming into 62 million as well as uh, 61 million. And we're going to do that today, you know. Now, the 61 million, the high of 61 million is at uh, 459. We're into the bar already of the four, of the three, I mean, 369, of 364. So we're at 362.96. It depends where this thing basically closes today. If we go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs. NQs out here. Okay, so now the NQs, okay, this is cool. The NQs, let me get this. My, okay, so we're, we're starting the next 10-minute uh, bar right here. So the NQs are testing the low right now. You know, we'll see, we'll see how this thing shakes out. We're one minute into the bar. You know, the, the bar, so this is the number you're going to be looking for. Um, 14,009. Oh, you're already above it. It's 14,937. It's got to stay above it in the 10-minute bar. That's how that works. It stays above the 10-minute bar, you're going to get some kind of a bonus into the close. Okay, notes and bonds. Yesterday, we had a huge sign of strength in the note and bond market. It broke its downtrend. They both broke their downtrend. What you have out here today, bottom line, pull this up. You're going to see you get a pullback. You're pulling back with lighter volume. No, no, you're not. Same volume, actually. 2.6 million. You did 2.6 million yesterday. You did 2.6 million today. You know, you still broke the downtrend. And what was the high yesterday? 109.20. No, 
30, 31. Oh my God, the same high, 109.31. Now you can see it's still it's a decisive break. That's the real bottom line. And we go into the 10 year, I mean the 30 year. We pull the 30 year up. Now the 30 year got to a higher high. Well, that's actually good. We got to a high high and gave it up in price, but we had higher volume. So that's that's still saying higher prices are coming at us. Then we go over to the good U.S. dollar. Now the dollar, this is a trip on the dollar, man. But I have seen this before too. I like this setup, and what I mean specifically is this. So yesterday you had a doji. You know, you spiked the swing points. You gave it up on price. Today, this is, a, this is a beautiful looking last engulf. I mean, you start at the lows, you go to the highs. So the confirmation that this is a last engulfing because, you know, candlestick patterns, certain candlestick patterns have a two day pattern, and that's what a last engulfing is. And what a last engulfing is, is that you've been in an uptrend as you are in the uptrend at the very top of the uptrend. You have to be in the uptrend in order for this to happen, or a downtrend, it doesn't matter. But in this case, we're in an uptrend, it was straight up. Then you have it, and if you close below this tomorrow, then it's saying, okay, that run is over. In this particular case, we have two separate issues, meaning yesterday the inverted hammer, today the last engulfing, that basically is setting up the more than likely that we have that happening. We go to the silver market. Silver has been stronger than gold, and, you know, silver's pulling back slightly. I mean, I mean slightly, too. You know, you're talking about 18 cents. You know, this wants higher price. The thing that's the divergence that we also have out here today, and this is where you can, you know, probability wise set up that gold and silver want higher price, is that they are not getting whacked when you have the dollar up over 500 ticks. You get a, you get a dollar up over 500 ticks, folks. Most times you're going to see the gold market down, you know, 15, 20 dollars. And that's not the case. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 251. You get the Nasdaq off 188. S&Ps are off 41. Stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Tim Ward, coming up.